Hi, thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semi Dolls. Just a few days ago, I received a question under one of my German videos asking um, me about doll making and DIY business. So she wants to start her own DIY business and is asking me how I got started with the doll making and if I visited a class or how I went about making my own patterns and all that. So I thought that's a really, really nice question. And I thought I'd sit down with you. I forgot to make myself a tea. Maybe you can make one <laughs> and come and have a little chat with me. I remember my mum making Waldorf dolls for me because we're coming from this big Waldorf family Steiner background with my grandparents um, founding Steiner schools and my great grandparents already being involved in the the Steiner Society and all that. I'm not involved in any of that, but I really, really took some of the inspirations with me, especially the doll making, and that's what I'm founding my whole business around. So my mum made dolls for us, and I remember her making a huge doll for my brother because he was longing for a good, good friend. At the time, he didn't have so many friends, and I remember her making him a life-size doll. His name was Sebastian. Sadly, I don't have any pictures here. Maybe I can find one and insert it in the video if not then i'm sorry and i have one of her overalls here her dolly overalls that she made about 34 years ago isn't that so cute i love it i love this fabric here too it's so adorable so um and it's still in good shape you know 34 years old really good fabric and then I grew up and forgot everything about World of Dolls. And one day I was on Facebook and I saw a picture of, I think, a Bamboletta doll. And I couldn't believe it. It was so adorable and it reminded me of my childhood and of the dolls. And I fell in love and I had a look at their website and I found many other doll makers like Dragonflies Hollow and uh, Pookie Dolls and um, so many, so many Marine Gold, so many other different doll makers. And I had, had a look through all their pages, but first I fell in love with the Bamboletta dolls, I think. And I wanted to buy myself one, but at the time they were selling out within seconds every time, so I couldn't get one. And I also was a bit bummed <laughs> by the price. I thought, whoa, that's so expensive, I can't afford that. And then I remembered that my mum made them for us when I was little. Not them, I mean, they look different. My mum's doll definitely looked different than the Bamboletta dolls. Bamboletta dolls are very unique and adorable. And... So I thought if she can, could make dolls, maybe I can try and make dolls myself and maybe it won't be so expensive. So I bought myself some fabrics. I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't have any instructions. I later on bought myself some books. Making Waldorf Dolls by Marie Christine Seeley is a really, really good book. Um, Fröhliche Puppen by Freya Jafke. She's a friend of my grandparents. One of my grandparents' friends, I met her a few times, she wrote that book. And Die Waldorfpuppe, The Waldorf Doll by Karin Neuschitz. And, uh, but I bought them way later. So um, I got started, I just bought things. I completely underestimated doll making. I thought, oh, I'll just quickly make it myself, you know. <laughs> bought the materials and got started. And I soon, very soon realized that it's very, very hard. And I got a lot of respect for doll makers and... I started um, looking at their dolls again and I started buying them actually and collecting them and I bought many many dolls and for my daughter as well for my daughter she's not really into dolls she prefers stuffies like plushies stuffed animals but I was completely into dolls and we had a huge collection at some point because I had so much respect and admiration for these doll makers for making these adorable adorable dolls and meanwhile I was still trying and making my own dolls but I gave up a little bit because I just couldn't get it right for a while. Then I think that's the point where I started to buy myself these books. But I'm completely hopeless at following instructions. It's the same with me and recipes. I, When I look at a recipe, I just, I don't know what it is. I have some sort of resistance in me, something. I just can't follow it. I get inspiration from it. I have a look through the ingredients. I might buy all the ingredients, but then I just put the book away and just try to wing it myself. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. And I think if I would just follow the instructions, it would be a lot easier. And sometimes I force myself to, and then it turns out pretty good. 
but mostly my brain is just it just can't it can't do instructions <laughs> so same with this one with these books I got a lot of um, inspiration from the books I never visited a course or a class at the time there were uh, to my knowledge there weren't any video tutorials online about how to make Waldorf dolls um, and which I can understand because doll makers take a lot of pride in their doll making and they don't want to like give away the <laughs> all the trade secrets which I'm a little bit guilty of I think I'm showing everything and how to do everything in my videos and yeah I had the I just kept trying myself and I made my own patterns until I was a little bit happy and then I started sharing pictures on Facebook and people found me and told me oh Joe, why don't you open an Etsy shop so I opened an Etsy shop and there was a beautiful interaction with the buyers and me and they gave me a lot of feedback and they helped me improve some of the dolls it was really really nice so I soon started making dolls and they sold really really well in the beginning it was so exciting every like I put up six to eight dolls every week and they sold within 30 seconds to a minute it was just amazing to see them all travel around the world and knowing that so many semi dolls are living everywhere in the world and sometimes people still send me pictures with their little dollies and it's so adorable just warms my heart and at some point I realized that what I really really enjoy is making patterns so I started to make the patterns and yes I always did everything myself because of my allergy to, follow <laughs> to following instructions and so I will continue making dolls and um, doll instructions and I'm actually working on this secret little project at the moment here this is going to this was a really really brief sneak peek no one I'm not posting about this anywhere <laughs> yet but if you're watching this Q&A you just saw a little <coughs> sneak peek that's one of my projects that I'm working on that'll still take a few probably months for me to complete because it's going to be a whole big collection of items and I'm so excited about it so yes that's how I got started I never visited any classes uh, even though I bought myself some doll making books I never followed the instructions and I taught myself I basically taught myself and because I learn best um, by following video tutorials same with recipes too I prefer to watch recipe videos I can do that I can follow recipe videos but not the written instructions and I prefer to see things um, when they're moving so that's what I'm, why I'm doing video instructions that's so important for me because that's the way I learn and that's uh, the way I hope that is beneficial to you as well so thank you so much for your question Willemie if you have any questions for an upcoming Q&A please leave it down below in the comments thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye